Here's an AMI This Week shortcut with me, Victoria Nolan. Here's part three of our CNIB's Employment Skills Boot Camp Budgeting. 12 students, one week, all expenses paid, equipping them for their employment journey. Hi, my name is Ted Bonar. I'm the program lead with the Career Support and Employment Program with CNIB Foundation, and welcome to the Employment Skills Boot Camp. The Financial Planning on a Budget Workshop teaches participants how to effectively budget on a fixed income. This class is important because it gives practical tools on how to work within a very limited budget. For this class, we brought in Chantel from Money Mentors. Money Mentors is a provincial leader when it comes to money management and financial planning. And what better way to prepare our students for a financial future? It's a bonding experience to talk about money and what kind of spender you are. And then, you know, going forward, you're giving it some thought. So even just uh, sparking that discussion, I'm really excited to do that and to create some interaction in the audience. We find that our average client, 30 to 40% of their money is unaccounted for. What that means is they sit down, they answer a ton of questions, and then they are normally quite shocked to see how much they are spending and what their monthly budget is. When we're talking about budgeting, uh, we have to think about what our behavioral factors would be. So what is our current relationship with money? Are we an impulsive spender? Are we an emotional spender? You know, what is our income? What are all the sources in which we receive our money? And what is the timeline? So kind of figuring out where your money is coming in and where it's going. Obviously, you have to track your expenses. So we have monthly expenses, annual and daily. Daily expenses are the ones that can get you the most and it's really honestly quite easy to get into a situation where you're buying a daily coffee or a daily lunch and before you know it you're spending a lot of money on something that isn't necessarily considered, considered to be a need. So when you create your expense plan it's really important to factor in all that stuff and most importantly creating a savings or an emergency fund is one of the most single important things you can do when you're creating your budget. Um, learning about reducing expenses. So when you're in the grocery store, what are the ways in which you can spend less money? Can you eliminate buying certain things you don't necessarily need? If you spend less than $2 a day, that's $735 in a year that you could save. So really having a concept of the value of a dollar is very, very important and wise. Learning about credit. Well, if you haven't checked your credit report, you definitely should because it's free. Um, it's, it's your knowledge, it's your right to have that, to know what your credit rating is, to know why it's important and how it could affect you and um, companies making decisions on whether or not they want to give you a credit card. What's a credit score and how is it different? Well, a credit score is much more unique to you. It's based on a lot of different factors where credit rating is simply just are you repaying your stuff on time. Anyone can get their credit report simply by going online to one of the two major credit bureaus in the country. We have TransUnion and Equifax. You can go on to either website, fill out a credit bureau request form. You can send it online and receive your credit report right away for an extra fee. Or you can send it through the physical mail and it will come to you in I think two to four business weeks and that would be free. Or you can come to Money Mentors and we can help you get your credit report. We have 13 different online courses on our website. They're really great. They range from budgeting boot camp, tackle your debt, credit ratings, surviving a layoff. They are all audible and they only take about one to two hours to complete. There are many other organizations across the country that would be willing to help connect you with resources and referrals and give you advice and knowledge. Simply do an internet search or call your city helpline and find out what that organization would be to get the help. After this class, participants should be able to effectively plan a budget and stick to it. Tune in next week for some practical career training. If people want to learn more, they can reach out to, to us at CNIB by logging onto our website at cnib.ca or visiting ami.ca.